Welcome to Dordrecht. Welcome. It's February the 19th and we're in Dordrecht today. Dordrecht is a city in the west of the Netherlands, the Randstad, as we call it. It's in the province of South Holland. And it's just a few miles south of Rotterdam, the second largest city of the Netherlands. And about an hour's drive away from Amsterdam. And it's a city uh, that is next to the water. Uh, most of the Netherlands is next to the water. But this city especially is uh, built from um, trade and commerce and still has a big harbor. Yep, and uh, there are a lot of boats as well. We, we will see them later on. Um, and Dordrecht is quite an old city. Actually, it's the oldest city of the Netherlands. There are some debates about it. Well, it's the oldest city because Napoleon is, uh, gave this city the city rights, as they call it, and uh, as first city in the Netherlands. But that does not mean that at that point in time there were no other cities in the Netherlands. Netherlands, but it's the city with uh, well the oldest written rights by Napoleon. And now we're walking in the Kalkhaven, and you see the boats at the left. And these are all kinds of old buildings that are typically uh, typical for Dordrecht. And, and we hear the Grote Kerk. Yeah, the old church which is a Catholic church, but uh, Presbyterian, well, I, I think it's always been Presbyterian, but it's originally built Catholic. So it's, uh, anyway, it's a, it's a church, its tower is tilting. So uh, it's, old, I don't know how old it is. Do you know how old it is? Uh, it's built in, uh, I believe, the oldest part is from 1285, but most of the church is from 1500 something. So it's quite old. It's more than 500 years uh, or for 500 years old. And also in Dordrecht, you see all the bikes. Where the Dutchmen are famous for biking. And now we walk up to the great church. On most days the church is open, so you can visit. You can also climb the tower if you're interested. It gives a nice view of, uh, of the city and the harbor. You can go up there. It's quite a climb, lots of stairs. 52 meters height. Oh, that's the highest point you can come. The total the height of the tower is 65 meters. But you can climb up to 52 meters. And as Jonanda already said, it's tilting because of the weak ground underneath. It's, this is the town I grew up in, actually. So I live in Tilburg now, and you can find uh, movies about Tilburg on the channel. But this is the town I lived in until I was 24. And it's about 40 minutes drive from uh, where we live now. As you can see, Dordrecht is, uh, the city center it has a lot of old buildings. It's a very historic center. And <laughs> it's also, uh, people say it's beautiful when you grow up there, you don't see it yourself. But now I'm a little bit older and when you go back, you see it's, it's really a beautiful, beautiful city. Lots of history there. As you can see on the signpost, there are red signs and they uh, direct you to the Rondje of Dordt. And it's a walk across the old city, approximately two hour walk. Yeah, we won't be doing that today, but if you're in town, take that walk, follow the red signs, and you have, uh, well, the best view of the city. And you see the water here, the Medewede. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the larger rivers of the Netherlands. It's actually uh, one of the rivers that divides the south to the north, so it's also two cultures. The south of the Netherlands is still very Catholic, and the north of the Netherlands is Presbyterian. And I just looked it up. 
the great church was Catholic uh, uh, until 1572, and it was Prosperian afterwards. And uh, if you're in town, you don't see it now, but next to the church where we're walking now, there's a very, very good restaurant. Make sure you reserve there because... It isn't that large. It isn't that large, it's very small. What's the name of it again? Delichés. De Deliché, yes. Maybe we should link it in the in the description. It's just you see the corner of it there. And now the church is closed, so we can't go in. Most of the days it's open, and inside it's a Renaissance style. So please do visit, and if you visit, go inside. It's worth it. Now we just walk along by the water side. It's mostly recreational now, so there is some uh, commerce still going on, but most of it is it's yachts and recreation and uh, boats owned by uh, people. There are a couple of museums in uh, Dordrecht. That's, um, there is a house of a old commerce family that's still original. House van Geen. We walk up to it, actually. Yes, let's walk up to it. And as you can see, there's a lot of green. It's winter now. It's approximately now 8 degrees Celsius. So nice for a walk, but not, there's no green at this moment. In springtime or in summer, it, all the streets will be green. And it's a very nice city to stroll in, to discover the narrow streets. Let's cross the street. Yeah, there are very narrow, narrow streets. Like the, the original streets were very small. These are the bigger streets that um, well, you can almost see the horse and carriage riding along the street, but they are also the, the smaller streets of all times that are still intact. And today we won't show you the whole city center, we just walk a small part of it. Well, we will be back one day, we, we are here often, so we can show you uh, the seasons as they come along. Well, today we walk up to uh, the old city, city hall. Yes, the city hall and the statue of the Gebroeders Wit, mm -hmm. the Brothers White, uh, which they reigned the country before, uh, well, they had a quite unfortunate ending. Mm -hmm. They were uh, the, late, uh, the last political murder before Pim Fortuyn in 2000, and that, that killing was in 1600 something. They were very famous people. They were uh, ruining the country uh, in the time the Netherlands was a republic. Yes, but... And um, they came from Dordrecht. Yeah, when it became a kingdom again, um, well, they had to go. And it's, it's uh, yeah, the last, one of the last political murders. And unfortunately we had uh, one Quite One recently, more into, yeah. Yeah, in 2002. But let's, don't talk, let's not talk politics. Um, and here we find a statue of a giraffe. No <laughs> idea what it's doing here. <laughs> no. uh, I, I, I've lived in this city, but um, no, I don't know everything. Why there's a giraffe here, I have no idea. If you know, may, maybe you know, let us know in the comments. I'm very curious. Curious. And those three pipes you see over there were to collect old glass, empty glasses. You can bottle like bottles, jars. You can put them there, separated by color. Yes, we recycle glass. I guess every country recycles it. I'm not even sure. But uh, we collect everything that's glass, and uh, well, every. Glass item gets recycled, so it's the most uh, sustainable way to package food. This is a bridge um, to the harbor, and you see all the boats over there. It opens um, when there's a boat bigger than uh, the average height that needs to go over.
and in this tree we'll find Museum van Huis van Gein. It's further on. But we walk across the harbor. It's also a nice shopping center, so we won't see many shops today. But if you're in town, um, take some time to look around, shop. The shops in the Netherlands really are in the city center. We don't, uh, well, we have a couple of malls, but they're very rare. Most uh, shops are still originally located in the city centers of every city in the Netherlands. And I believe in the, the whole country we have three shopping malls. I'm not, maybe not? I, I'm not sure, but uh, we're not used to ha shopping malls. And you see all the cars across the uh, at the side of the street. And you can park there, but be aware, you have to pay to park your car. So if you have a rental or your own car, don't put it there and think I'm, I'm fine. Um, put it, you have to pay for it. And you can do it um, well, on the side of the road. There are several machines, but you have to walk sometimes quite a bit you also have an app That's which you can download it's the easy park app and you can add your credit card and then you can activate the app and say here we go and then you can stop it when you are back at your car we see a parking machine right here yes and the app has a geographical location so you he'll know which zone you are you don't have to worry about that and there are also some parking garage in the city you can always use those. And as you can see across the street, some houses lean forward. <laughs> it's the weak ground we, uh, we build on here in the Netherlands. It's all... Uh, yeah. Sand? No, no, no. It's, oh, it's okay. vein. Yeah, yeah cl clay and, and vein. It's, it's, yeah. well, it's, it clinks. Um, so we really have to lay a very firm foundation. And even then, things move and um, well tilt. And that's a real problem. So the historic buildings are, yeah, are crooked most of the time. This is a really nice boat. Yes, it's a proud owner, I guess. We're not the owner, but whoever owns it, kudos. This is the Long Iron Bridge. And, well, the name says it. It's long and it's iron. Yep, it's 40 meters long. And it's an old bridge, I guess. It's an old bridge, yes. It's made from iron, and there's a strange... Well, the, the boats can go under there, and it opens as well. So it has some... Well, it's, it's not really wheelchair or stroller friendly. Um, you see it here, it has really uh, a, a steep climb, steep tilt. And it goes up and the same way down. Yes. And here you can see the great church again. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. Most people who visit the Netherlands will, uh, will visit Amsterdam. And maybe they do Den Haag, The Haag, in Rotterdam. But Dordrecht is uh, worth visiting. I think I like it more than Rotterdam. Well, I do. Rotterdam is, is well, yeah, they, they didn't choose for it, but it's very new because in the war it uh, well, really was bombed and there isn't much history left. So it's a quite different city than Dordrecht. Dordrecht really has the historic um, feel to it and, and yeah, Amsterdam as well, but Amsterdam is more crowded, so it is more quiet. I like those small details in the city, those sta little statues. Yeah, people live What's there, that? they decorate. And that's Amsterdam, is, uh, it lives on tourists, so there aren't, in the city center, not many people left that really live there. Of course, there are people who live there, but um, this is, well, just normal city and has not that much tourism. Mostly tourists from uh, their own country, uh, from the Netherlands itself, but not really international tourists. I like the shop over here. It's a chess shop. 
And as you can see here, there's an outside board, a chess board outside, so you can play. Yeah, there's a really cool Disney shop and a really cool uh, game shop. So there are quite unique stores here. Uh, in here the you city. see all the unique chess sets, all different kinds and sizes. Lots of bikes. You see that everywhere in the Netherlands. We love to bike. There are more bikes in the Netherlands than there are people, and that's because, well, we will come across a bike. Officially, it's still a bike, but it's more like a garden item now. And there are many people who have a city bike and a racing bike. Uh, if they do like cycling, race, uh, race cycling, or an electrical bike and a city bike. Of course, rental bikes for tourists, they count yep. as well. There are more than, I believe, 20 million bikes in the Netherlands. You'll see them everywhere. That's the flag of the Netherlands, red, white and blue. And red is for the people? The people, white is for the religion and blue is for the royals. And that's why the people are at top. We're a democracy, so we still have a we still are a kingdom, we still have a king, but it's um well they, they don't really have power anymore. And there is the old bike. As you can see, it's a quiet Sunday. It's not that crowded in the city. It never really is. Of course, there are periods it's more crowded than us. They have a couple of events that really are worth visiting. It's Dort in Stone, that's uh, basically everything steam driven. Um, is It's like an open museum. And at Christmas time, there's a lovely uh, Christmas market. Um, and there's a jazz festival, I believe. Lots to do with music. Oh, they have a calendar probably on the website. We'll, uh, we'll look it up and link it. And I believe the Disney store is on in the, the right. streets. On yes. the right. Let's see, it's this one, no, not this one. Yeah, one of the next. And I'm not sure if it's called like the, the Venice of the Netherlands, but there are a couple of cities that are known as, as a Venice city. And this one can be as well, because there are canals all through the city. We'll see one um, when we cross here, but first we'll look at the, the place where everybody gets married. When you're in luck, you'll see a bride or a groom, and it's 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 really a beautiful place to marry. It's the old city hall. Two statues of lions in front of it. Yeah, very regal. It's I'll it seems Roman. It's the architecture. Yeah, it does seem Roman. Oh. I don't want to walk any Roman from its bike. They see it entirely. And the gold letters say Stadthuis, which is City Hall. Actually, it's not... Uh, not anymore. Not anymore the City Hall. It's, uh, it's a little walk further on, but still the formal place where everybody got married. And like the, the, the place with the boats, that's the real river and these canals uh, go through all this of the city and there are uh, small boats um, that you can take a guided tour on. It's really nice uh, when you're in town to do uh, the guided tour. They tell you lots of details, historic stories. And now we're at the Voorstraat, one of the famous streets. 
Ja, de There are lots of stores and shops. De voorstraat, yes. Which is literally translated in Front Street. Front Street. Not sure what it stands for, but it's the place where um, the shops start. So there are way more shops along the street. Love these old buildings. And everywhere in the Voorstraat you can look by the houses to the water. The back of those uh, buildings is at the waterfront. And these were all old houses and some um, places to trade as well. Um, if they're um, really intact, they mostly they say what they do. Like in the beginning we had uh, Shops that said well, they were a plumber, mm -hmm. and they had stained windows, which uh, yeah, or or on the building themselves, the the letters the engraved letters like Stadhuis, like the old letters that say what the building was built for. And here we come to the Visbrug, the fish bridge. It was a trading place for fish. Yeah, there's also a fish market. There still is. Yeah, not not. As Not a fish market day. anymore, but it still has a name. And here we come at the statue of the Gebroeders de Wit, which are in memory, uh, yeah, they have a great legacy and an unfortunate ending. And we'll walk up to the statue. That's where we will end our tour for today. Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think of Dordrecht and if you'd like this walk. If you've ever been to Dordrecht, leave it in the comments. We hope to see you again. Mm -hmm.